All right, less than one hour from now, House Republicans will gather in a high-stakes meeting, hoping to strike a deal before looming government shutdown. Texas Congressman Morgan Luttrell joins us now. Congressman, thank you for joining us this morning. I know you got a lot going on. Listen, yeah, Americans, they hear CR, they hear stopgap, they hear appropriations. It's a lot to understand that there's a process here. And it's about funding the government. The vote last night was a stopgap bill that was extremely conservative. I believe uh, Chip Roy and others in the Freedom Caucus helped write this this very conservative bill, it failed with, I think, more than 20 members voting against it. Where do you see this going from here? Well, we actually have a conference uh, after this segment, Joey, that I'll be heading over to around 930 that we're going to we're going to go we're going to start beating the brush again. That's that's the, that's the nature of this beast. We're going to jump back in the uh, in the so-called in the ring and see if we can figure this thing out. You know, I know your styles lead by example. Put yourself there. Uh, speak from your experience. You're a freshman member of Congress. You come in. It's been a pretty contentious Congress when it comes to picking your leadership, how you're going to move forward, what the priorities are. I know Ukraine funding is one thing that a lot of conservatives are upset about, as well as what's going to happen at the border. Are these the two issues that will decide where this goes? Uh, I can't put, I can't say, speak to exactly to that. Ukraine funding is big in the Republican Party uh, for certain. For me, the border is the number one issue in my district, and obviously yeah. being from Texas. And I would say... Not just, I would say the absolute major, the absolute majority of the Republican Party, even on my, even my Democratic colleagues on the other side, are having a, um, uh, are, are taking a uh, extremely hard look at the border, and we really want to address yeah. that issue. Well, you said from your district, you're in Texas. We've got another Texas congressman, Congressman Dan Crenshaw, is joining us now. Congressman uh, Morgan and I were just talking about uh, what issues are going to kind of make or break this next meeting you're about to have. Can you give us some insight on where you think some of your colleagues are? I think they're. Roughly two dozen that voted against this very conservative stopgap. Is, is another stopgap next? Is trying to do a CR? What, what comes next? Yeah, look, when, when they took that down, we lost a lot of leverage. The, yeah. the entire point of that CR, it's not really a CR, more of a, a stopgap that actually cut non defense by 30% and put our entire border security bill in there. So, you know, that was a really conservative bill that was actually just meant to start the conversation with the Senate. When they voted that down. We lost all that leverage, and so now we have to decide whether we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna close down the government or not. There's really no benefit to closing down the government, especially when you don't even have a purpose to doing it. Uh, so, because of what they did, you're now more likely facing a clean CR uh, that gives us time to clean up those appropriations bills, have those fights, and and, and get those across the finish line. Um, we'll see what happens here in the next. 24 hours. Yeah, I don't want to stoke fires of division, but it, it, do you see this as a play by certain members of your party who are trying to get Kevin McCarthy to get Democrats to belly mount so they can use that to vacate him? That is not out of the question. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, but it, but it depends on who you're talking about. Yeah. I, I think everybody comes at it from a different angle. Sure. Well, I, listen, I believe in what you guys are trying to do. The reason why I wanted to have you two on today specifically is that you both stood on the floor of Congress and spoke for an amendment to a bill that could be seen controversial, especially in certain people that have certain reactions to certain words. But what you did is you went on the floor, you brought an amendment, and it got passed. And this is to do research into therapies, plant-based therapies, to treat PTSD and other combat-related injuries. Morgan, I want to go to you on this. What we're talking about is the use of psychedelics, plant-based uh, substances that aren't legal or aren't easily accessible in the country. Veterans are even going out of country to do it, but the results are fantastic. Uh, Congressman Luttrell. Yeah, the results are groundbreaking, <clears throat> and the research is growing and growing. We're working on the longitudinal studies. The biggest, the biggest problems that we're having at the, in the House of Representatives is explaining and giving people a proper direction, taking them away from the word psychedelics. I can use a multitude of different terminologies to try to, to give to describe these medications, but inevitably it always circles back to that, which is unfortunate because it was taken advantage of back in the '60s and the '70s, and now when in the research space, we see the advantages for, for like you said, treating post-traumatic stress, cognitive instabilities, cognitive disorders. And uh, the reason that we testified on the floor is because it needs to be clinically based. I say clinically based research yeah. inside the DOD and in the veteran space. I'm not, we're not trying to downgrade these drugs. We're not trying to take anything away from where they sit today. We want this to be professionally done so we can decrease the individual, decrease that number of 22 plus and this exactly. transcends the veteran space. I mean, this goes out to the American public. This could actually go globally. And this is a step in the right direction. Congressman Crenshaw, I saw a video of both of you talking on the floor about this, and I love what you had to say. My question to you is, do you think anyone other than, than a couple of veterans could have gotten the Republican Party to vote for this 
And what does that say about veterans coming to Congress? You know, probably not. Uh, you know, I'd like to think that we bring a seriousness to the conversation. Uh, th 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 these types of bills have come up from uh, before uh, for, from other members, and they didn't get very far. We, we bring it up because we, we have that experience with injured veterans. You know, I have a lot of very, very close friends who have gone through this therapy, and they're coming out, and they're coming to Capitol Hill, and they're saying, this saved my life, this saved my marriage. Uh, I want others to have access to, to this kind of treatment. I've heard so many testimonies like that, and that, that changed me. I mean, I, in the last couple of years, I, I, it, was, it was almost strange. It was almost a God thing how many people in my life came to me and said, please help us with this, and it was just the right thing to do. Now, I don't think there's a ton of opposition to this. The op some of the problems that we've encountered so far getting this through, I think, have been bureaucratic. I think the bureaucracy doesn't want to deal with this because mm. it's, it's, it's edgy. It's difficult. It makes them do work. <laughs> okay? So, so we're going to keep pushing it. We've been very successful so far with a few, with a few hiccups. We're talking to the Senate. We want to make sure this, this makes it into the NDAA Absolutely. in conference and gets funded. Hey, listen, Congressman Crenshaw, before I let you go, I respect your privacy. won't ask for any details, but I know you're a new dad. I just want to tell you that from us here at Fox and Friends and from our viewers, congratulations. It's the greatest thing, and you know this, we can do is, uh, is to create a human and love it. So congratulations to oh, you on that. Thank and, you. Uh, we're in love. I, I know. I know. <laughs> You and Congressman uh, Luttrell both, listen, thank you both for joining us. Thanks for taking time out of your day to talk to our viewers today before this big meeting, and good luck. Thanks, Joy. Thanks. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.